Recently, I'd ranked up to level 1000 in GTA Online. In that time, I've made over $1.2 billion, spent over $740 million, played over 7,000 hours, and killed almost 20,000 players. I've bought every business and property I could, owned around 300 vehicles, all the helicopters and planes I could ever want, and generally act like money is not an issue. So I wondered what it would be like to get rid of all of that wealth and start all over again. This is my journey on how I went from riches to rags. Previously on Riches to Rags. In the words of Ice Cube, today was a good day. As Rockstar had given me a cool $1 million just for logging in. It wasn't long before Lester got wind of our prison break heist and called me like he was my jealous girlfriend and I'd just been caught cheating on him. That wasn't you, was it? Bolingbroke? Jesus, cleared a space for me in heaven by first throwing someone else out. We're in heaven. are still going crazy and we can make a small fortune. As always, the fastest way through the man trap was to jump. Jump around! Jump around! My favourite piece of art was this man woman, who I believe is Abby from The Last of Us Part 2. Hey, hey! Uh, yeah, hey, hey! on a coop, yeah, yeah, yeah! Always with killers, man, because the Lord of the shoot, yeah, yeah, yeah. Still loving some faces, some demons don't know what you do, yeah, yeah, yeah. I did them seeds with some seeds, mommy, you never knew, yeah. <laughs> what better way to start the day than with a complex heist? Well, none. So we're back, and this time we're visiting the Humane Labs. Hello, people. Unfortunately for us, Agent 14 had eaten a rather spicy curry the night before. So there's this chemical laboratory called Humane Labs. As usual with Agent 14, he spent no time having a little rant about someone. This time, it was Donald Trump. Well, he's a warmongering right-wing douche with all the subtlety of a red dildo. I had to admit, I was rather impressed with how he could concentrate on his talk while simultaneously filling his pants at the same time. Red dildos. Whatever. Eventually, Agent 14 finally admitted to where the sound and smell was coming from. That shithole. That's what the intel seems to suggest. What I got told on the streets, and what my boss, who doesn't want you to know his name, will pay you to discover because what? Don't worry about the why, just worry about the how. First, got a couple things to take care of. Get the Humane Labs key codes and the armored 4x4s, like the ones guarding the place. We'll do the key code exchange just off Elgin Avenue. Gonna be meeting with somebody who's had a bit of trouble with the bureau, so please use caution. One of you is gonna do the exchange, one of you is a bodyguard, and the other two are gonna be lookouts. All right, people, doesn't matter what order you do this in, just get it done. This will pay well. No questions asked. We never met. So after all of 14's farting, we were pleased to be able to get out for some fresh air. Knowing how bad Pesco is at driving, I decided to show off and show us some of my favourite tricks. We then had to amuse ourselves before our secret contact arrived in broad daylight in the middle of a busy car park. When our contact did finally arrive, I thought she must be driving herself here, judging by what we witnessed. You here for the access codes? Humane Labs? All right, when I get the all clear, we'll give you the codes. So as to make her think we were just a bunch of shy losers and not the total badasses we really are, I put on the best dumbass expression I could muster. What you're getting into right now is a whole different ball game, my friends. It was then that I remembered where I'd seen this woman before and her fondness for flashlights. Next I'll have this thing so far up your ass, your tonsils will be playing shadow puppets. <laughs> you think you're impenetrable? See how you feel with this is 18 inches deep inside. Get the lube. Actually, fuck the lube. Let's dry dock him. Eventually, her slow ass finally handed over the codes. The FIB, what are these clowns doing? Oh, shit! Now ambushed with seemingly no way out, we lit these motherfuckers up. Looks 
like you're clear, but we've heard that before. Drop the codes at HQ and look out for tails. For our next mission, all Pesca had to do was to get into the car, but she's a woman and always late. With Deer and Dark Eclipse and their vigilantes to protect us, we made short work of the gunmen and their following backup. Well, apart from Pesca, who had no idea where she was going again. tell you we only needed one of these? Other one's a spare. You're gonna be going in the one without a gun, don't want to draw attention. Pull the electrics, strip the plating, EMP will go in, Merriweather won't notice a difference. You guys won't need armor in there, will ya? <laughs> right, now get going, let's wrap this up. Literally minutes after just speaking with him, who we have now nicknamed Agent Fartine, he called us back to the planning room to tell us about our next mission. We are going to borrow something off the Navy, an EMP. They're not going to mind. The thing is kept on a plane, the plane is kept on a boat, the boat is kept in the ocean. All very simple, just borrowing something off the government, like a library. All right, great, good, call me. After making our way to the dinghy and admiring Pesca's parking, we sailed off to steal ourselves a jet. Show's over, it was agreed that Dark Eclipse would fly the Hydra while the rest of us would protect it and take out the other jets. One of you is flying the Hydra home, the rest making sure it gets there. Clear skies, bring the Hydra in and we'll take a look at that EMP. Ugh. People, go to work. You, we're moving on to phase. Once we're done with that, we'll go back to your place, get started on that thing I know nothing about. Details are on your board. You're bored at the apartment. Go. Our penultimate setup saw us taking this gigantic militarized chopper off the hands of Merriweather. Oh, get to the chopper! We then parked it on this roof, Distance gunners, make your shots count. sniped all the attacking buzzards, and mission complete. Okay, we got it from here. I've transferred control of the cameras over to you. We don't have very long, so scan the area quick and make sure you know where the guards are. Our final setup saw us sneaking into this humane lab to drop off the EMP. It was important that we were not spotted or else we'd fail, so I made sure to wear the appropriate clothing. Seeing as I didn't have the best weapons for this job, Dio and Dark were responsible for taking out the guards while I take care of the EMP. Get familiar with your surroundings, she'll be back here soon. Oh yes, and while Pesco tried her best to blow it all, literally, by setting fire to this petrol tank. Which then exploded and destroyed our getaway vehicle. We need to hack the security panel to get the insurgent into the bay. This then meant that all four of us had to run out of the humane labs.
clear to finally pass the setup. And now it was finale time, so I bought this very special scarf. We're done here. Knowing that Agent Fartine was here, I tried my best to waft the smell of it with the door. So we're good to go. I think. You've done great. And this won't be a problem. No one is going to want to admit that anything happened here. It's just going to require a little bit of finesse. Two teams. Chopper crew. Ground crew. All of you will be flying in together. Are we clear? So remember, if we never meet again, we never met at all. I love you all, which is why it's best we pretend that nothing happened. And if it did happen, it wasn't me, and it wasn't me because I was never here. Stay strong. Love ya. And that's how we don't get caught doing naughty things. Of course, Pesca was her usual self. DOS pilot, Pesco's gunner, it was up to Dark and I to parachute down and infiltrate the lab. Then something happened that has never happened before in all the hundreds of times I've completed this heist. Both Dark and I were thrown out of the chopper and cut to pieces by our own blades, putting an end to my criminal mastermind and a $12 million bonus. To show it was a complete one-off, the next time we got hit, we stayed firmly in our seats. When I ran agents in the field, I had to entrap them, cajole them, threaten them with deportation. You're never going to know what I had to do. See how you feel with this is 18 inches deep inside. Get the loop. Actually, fuck the loop. Let's dry dog. I guess there really is no accounting for stupidity. You are not going to talk about what happened here. Then, for some reason, the flashlight bitch made us blow up the chopper. Pesca opted to do it, as she's already shown her skills in making things explode. You need to hack the security panel. Although disappointed at the STUPID GAY for ruining my hope of completing the criminal mastermind, I did however pocket close to half a million dollars. So join us next time when I took on the casino heist one last time in the next episode of Riches to Rags. <laughs>